Well, here's the neck. It's come a long way from the pieces that it originally was. Been doing a French polish. Uh, trying to angle it where you can see. I'm not sure if you can tell. Fought this one pretty bad. The neck wasn't so bad as the body, but right now it's it's got several coats of shellac for the French polish. And hey, you see the two holes for the tuners? That's where I misdrilled. Um, finally, I got it pretty much where I wanted it. Went back and did a 600 grit wet sand using olive oil. I use the olive oil because it doesn't swell the wood fibers. And you can go back over it later with some alcohol and you can take all the olive oil back out and it doesn't show up in the final finish. There's the whole guitar. It's kind of blotchy looking but it's hard to tell you can see some of the some of the grain is you can tell it's filled up there's a few spots that are open got to try to do something with that there's the front I've got a few coats of the French polish on there I'm gonna finish this off with a lacquer finish I use the French polish because of the ability to stick to anything and I don't have to worry about it As you can see here Everything it looks kind of splotchy. That's the results of the going back over the 600 grit wet sand. But it's filled and it's level. So I learned a lot on this thing. Enough made my head hurt. But I think it's going to be a pretty guitar. I think it's going to play pretty good. It's got a good resonant, a good sound when you tap it. It's not dead, so we'll see.